Hello and welcome. We're out on an adventure. So our adventure begins at Monument Park, somewhere, if I'm honest, in the middle of nowhere. No idea where I am at all. Helen has come to get her hair cut out in the middle of nowhere, but we are just up the road from Chalgrove Park Battlefield, apparently, I think I saw. Um, now, I don't know anything about the Chalgrove Battle, or whatever it was, so I'm going to walk up. I saw a sign and a monument, so maybe if we go and have a look, uh, we might learn all about it. <clears throat> so, I'm walking down the side of the road in the rain, in my finest cardigan, um, off in search of a battlefield that I know nothing about. Um, it is raining. A little bit, a little bit. But, uh, oh, I'm going to have to cross over here, because this is one where we've got pavement, and the pavement's on the other side. Oh. So the monument is just up here. It's really raining now. And this is rather reminiscent of all those days that I walked down the side of the canal whilst looking for my boat, wherever it was at the time, wondering whether it would start or not. Only difference, of course, now is that I, I think the car will start. There's no guarantees. Oh, here we are, look. And there seems to be some sort of small aircraft landing. So I'm not sure what it is, whether it's a small private airport or I have to have a look when I go home. Possibly some sort of military base or something. But it looks like a private one, so here we are. Ah, Prince Rupert's March. So, my history is absolutely terrible. But we'll go and, uh, we'll go and have a look. So this is the John... Hampton or Hampton was it? The John Hampton Monument. Ah, see. So must be his coat of arms there. Ah. And it's quite unusual to see a monument like that quite so well defended against. Oh, the. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's two, la two layers look, of railings to stop people getting to it. I wonder if there was something controversial about it. But, um, there's a nice little seat over there, and I can see there's some plaques on it, so I thought I'd go and have a little look and just see what the, what the little plaques say. Let's have a look. Ah, Royal British Legion, Chalgrove Branch, commemoration of VE Day, 50 years of peace. Uh, all the same. I like that. Never forget the cost of freedom. I like that. The other side to this, Prince Rupert's March. Ah, oh, so it's English Civil War. Right, so according to this, Started in Oxford at Magdalen Bridge, and followed followed this route. So my um, afraid my history is terrible. Um, right, let's um, let's wander back. And we'll have a look around the uh, industrial estate, commerce place, whatever it was. We'll. Uh, can have a look. There's, it's a wind sock through there. I don't know if you can see it, orange. Um, so, 
obviously for the aircraft. Do you wonder what it's all about? Maybe, uh, let me have a look when I go home. Or if anyone happens to know anything about the battlefield, or, um, or indeed what is apparently Chalgrove Airfield, um, pop it in the comments below. Whenever I come out wandering around miles from anywhere with no plan, there is always something, I don't know, quite quite nice about just being alone, lost with your thoughts, no, uh, no plan as such, just uh, pottering. And I always think, I think it's quite interesting actually, because somewhere like this is just a road on a country lane miles from anywhere, you, you'd never come down here. Um, but you get to see the intricate details of, uh, you know, of nature on the one side and the industrial estate on the other. There's all these, all these things that you notice and pick up on. And uh, yeah, I just uh, maybe I'm dribbling on a bit, but um, I just think you know the the texture of everything all around you. You're very, very aware of it, and you, you drive past, and you'd never, oh, you. Never even think about it, would you? Now they have got so all the things you didn't think you'd ever see. A mad middle-aged priest wandering around an industrial estate in the rain and marvelling at the pond. But it is actually quite nice, and they've got this this sort of outdoor gym area thing here, and I presume that's the people that are very fit and energetic to come out at, um, at lunchtime um, from the offices and what have you and, uh, and do a little bit of uh, exercise. Brave fellows. So I'm very conscious that whilst I'm recording to this camera, there's probably a hundred security cameras right now all drained on me, thinking I'm doing some sort of, I don't know, <laughs> international espionage or something, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, there's obviously there's a, a lot of businesses here, and a lot of people work here, and, and I like these sort of places. Um, they're like little private worlds, and it's only the people that work here ever get to know about them. Um, you know, there's some fantastic, you know, just even to have a field that you can go wandering around at, uh, at lunchtime. And I know I get excited about daft things, but uh, little sundial here, look. And I'm presuming that over here, this is some sort of conservation area. It looks like beehives. So I'm certainly not gonna get too close for very obvious reasons. Ah, oh, it is, look, yes, it's some um, little beehives, I think. Um, that is quite close enough for me, I think. But uh, a little bench there, I'd have, uh, I'd have had to sit down had it been a nicer day, but uh, it is raining. So, so I think, actually, I'm going to sign off for this one. Um, great little places, um, these uh, out of the way industrial estates. Um, so these little business parks, absolutely. Uh, Absolutely lovely. Little worlds on their own, as I said, and uh, who'd have thought you could make a YouTube video about wandering around an enterprise park of some description. But I will say, thanks very much indeed for watching. Um, I'm going to get back in the car now. Um, it is time to shelter from the rain. So I'll say thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.